Hi everyone, today I will explain how to use R for the first time. So for the people who have not yet installed R, you can check on my previous tutorial where I explain how to do it. It's very easy. So once you've done that, um, you can open R Studio. We wait for it to open. And this is what it looks like when you open it for the first time. It may look a bit threatening. Um, a lot of people think that learning R means having to deal with a very steep learning curve. That's not true. It's actually fairly easy as long as you know the basics, which I will guide you through in this tutorial. So the first thing we do is we go to file and we create a new file in the form of an R script. That's always the first step. And then you see we get an editor right here. We can type here if you want. Um, <clears throat> so this is our script, or at least here we can write the script. Then in the bottom left, we have the console. Um, the console is where all the output that we're generating will end up. For instance, the output of statistical tests. Um, but also if we have an error message, it will appear in the console. Then on the top right, we have the global environment. This is where all our data files will be appearing. At the moment, it's empty because there is no data yet uh, in our project, but it will appear there. And then the bottom right, um, we have different tabs, but we'll be mainly using the plots tab. For instance, if you make a bar chart or a box plot, then the actual plot will appear in the bottom right. So the next step would be to define where your working directory is. This is the folder where you store all your data files because R has to know where these data files are. So you always have to define it. There are several ways of doing it. Um, I prefer the automatic way where we type set working directory uh, and then you define where exactly the directory is. So in my case, it's called a folder called RStudio on the F drive. An even easier way of doing it um, well, you can you have to run this of course an easier way of doing it is you can go to session set working directory and then you can choose your directory here you can choose whichever you want but as you can see it's already on the f drive and in the folder r studio this is the next step uh, this is very important that you always do this otherwise you will get error messages because r will not be able to find the location of your input file now, another important thing to know is that sometimes while you're writing a script, um, you want to add comments, but you don't want R to think that those comments are actually code. So we can do that by using a hashtag. And here we can write whatever. And it will not be taken into account, so R will just skip every line that has a hashtag. That's very important if you want to you know, add stuff to your um, script. And obviously you shouldn't forget to save your script. Um, file, save as, and then you can name it whatever. My first R script, for instance, and I'm gonna store it in my R Studio folder. And that's it. So once I've done this and I've saved the script, I can reopen the script at any time and I can rerun it uh, with the same data and I will get exactly the same output. So from here you can start entering your data. Maybe one final remark is that some people, uh, they don't like the brightness of the standard R screen, which is very white and bright, especially programmers who spend a lot of time um, on the computer. So you can change this if you go to tools, global options, and then here you can change the appearance and you can choose whatever you want. Um, there's many different themes. You can click on it to see what it looks like doesn't really matter that much, in fact. Um, so Dracula, that sounds nice. So I'm going to do that. And then now everything uh, is turned into dark. So some people like it. I don't really. So I'm going to gonna put it back um, to where it came from. That's it. 